Hey Vibers, I'm here with a dinner for one, and tonight's dinner I'm having some McDonald's. So, um, what I got is a large fry, or I got the meal, a larger meal. So I have a large fry, and the meal that I got is a double quarter pounder. This is my first time ever having a quarter pounder of an of any kind. I wanted to get a double quarter pounder because I want more meat. Um, but so this is what it looks like. Uh, so yeah, so I've never had one before. I've always seen. I guess a lot of people like it because I always see a lot of people getting it. But I don't know. I just never got it. Um, and then to drink, I have the Tropic, Tropic Berry Sprite. Where's my straw? Oh, right here. So I'm going to say my prayer and then we'll get started. Okay. So... I'm going to take a few bites, get into my food a little bit, and then I'll start talking about what I want to talk about in this video. Okay, so here's the full look of the double quarter pounder. Okay. It is good. So I usually get the double cheeseburger from the value menu um, <clears throat> or a Big Mac. And what I can, for my taste, I think the difference with the quarter pounder is like like the meat is thicker that's what it feels like and tastes like it's pretty good mm, today's labor day by the way Happy Labor Day to everyone. Hope everyone had a fun and safe Labor Day. I know all the kids that are still in school love it because they get a three-day weekend. So instead of probably going bed, um, going to bed early last night, they probably stayed up. I know that's what I used to do. On three day weekends where we have Mondays off, I would use that, like, I would take use of that. Stayed up, watched movies, played games. Um, what I wanted to talk to you guys about um, I wanted to ask you guys are any of you guys watching Celebrity Big Brother I love Ce Celebrity Big Brother the UK version um I've been watching it. And my favorite, my favorite is Natalie Nunn, but unfortunately she was the first one evicted from the house. 
The other American that they have in the house is Kirsty Alley. I'm hot because it's hot today. And I like her. Um, they're like total opposites. Like Natalie is like loud and crazy and fun. And then Kirsty is like more like calm and soft spoken. But yeah, Natalie's my favorite. You guys don't know who Natalie Nunn is? Like, where have you been? She was on Bad Girls Club 4. Bad Girls Club LA. She was the one that always ran around saying, I run LA, I run LA. That was her. But lately in the lately in the house, um, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, lately in the house or recently in the house, um, who just left the house? Ben just left the house. Um, last time that I watched last night or a few nights ago. Um, but they just had an eviction, like, a few hours ago, but I'm saving to watch that later. Because I wanted to be nice and cool and enjoy my cold water while I'm watching that. Not like while I'm hot and bothered. Hot and bothered. Is that like a bad term? The two that are up for eviction today are right now that I haven't seen or that I'm about to watch. The two that are up for eviction are Jermaine and Hardeep. I don't mind seeing either one of them go. Hardeep is just He's not fun to watch. Mm. His personality is not fun. And he's not funny. Like, he says he's a comedian, but he's not funny. Like, none of his jokes are funny. Nothing that he does is funny. And he gets, like, he has these, like, dramatic moments that are, like, out of nowhere. And it's pointless. And then the whole thing with Jermaine is that he had, he's married, but he was, the whole time he was in there in the house, he was flirting with Chloe and they were like getting a little physical. So he needs to go to the people that I don't like are slowly leaving the house though. I'm happy about that. So my favorites in the house are Kirsty Alley and Ryan which is funny because they were the they were the president and vice president in that like first task that they had in the house everyone else I don't really care for um other than those two I kind of like um, Nick. Nick is pretty cool. 
he's definitely more fun and interesting and funnier to watch than Hardeep. And then Gabby and Dan, they kind of just don't matter to me, like, they don't really do anything interesting as well. I just wish Natalie was back in there. She shouldn't have left day one. Or day whatever she left. I mean, she shouldn't have been the first one to be evicted. Send with my food. So. <clears throat> I have this much left. I can finish this in one bite. This thing. Yeah, so if you guys watch Celebrity Big Brother out there, let me know. Let me know, like, your thoughts, who your favorites are, who your least, least favorites are. Let me know all of that down below. I first started getting into Celebrity Big Brother last season when they, because of Trisha Paytas. Because she was on, on there. And Sally, she decided to walk from the show. Like, my favorites, it's always, like, my favorites always get, like, get out early in shows. I remember watching Celebrity Big Brother U.S., um, they finally had the first one, was it earlier this year? Or sometime last year? It's the one that Ross Matthews was on, and who else was on that? Meta? Meta World Peace? Um, the Sugar Ray guy? That guy from... Big Time Rush, um, that girl that from the pageant where she thought she won the pageant but she got second place. Um, I can't think of the girl's name that actually won. Um, but my favorite one that was on that show was Kira, no not Kira Knightley. I can't think of her name. Something Knightley or Palmer. The it's Rudy, Rudy Huxtable from The Cosby Show. Her, she was my favorite on the show, and she got evicted. Did she got evicted or she left? I think she either left on her own, or she wanted. She told them to vote for her to get evicted because she was missing her her newborn baby that she just had. Mm. Almarosa was on that show too. She was my second favorite. So when I think it's Kira or Kiki, 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 do you love me? I got no teeth. I want to say Kiki Palmer, that but that's I know who that is. That's somebody else. Yeah, Amarosa was great. I loved her on the show. I wanted her to win. She was so close to winning. She, I think she made top five or top four. But she did really good. Like, for somebody that went in and nobody really wanted to be around her or, like, you know, because of her reputation with past shows and, like, politics and stuff, nobody really wanted to 
associate themselves with her. But she was able to make it through like really tough eliminations. Because she's really smart. She knows how to play the game. I want to see her in more in more reality TV shows. I wish she did Big Brother Celebrity Big Brother UK. That would be fun to watch. And I'm sad because this is the last season of Celebrity Big Brother UK. Um, I don't know if it's forever, but they're saying it's the last, um, I guess it's like, this is, by contracts, this is their last, um, season, so. I don't know if they can renew it, if somebody else wants to pick it up or something. They should, because I definitely want to see more. I feel kind of biased though because I feel like I root for when I'm watching the UK one I feel like I'm just I I just I guess I vote or not vote I'm rooting for like the Americans since I'm an American so I'm like you know I want the Americans to win even though like I don't really know who they are just the fact that they're American, I'm like... Also, because I feel like they have, like... They're kind of, like, underdogs going into that one, because... In the UK, it's the UK that gets to vote for them. So, it's kind of hard... When you have... Celebrities... When you have when you're competing against celebrities of that home country. I'll finish my food. I'm upset with the drink because you know how like when the when the Thing runs out, when the soda runs out of that soda fountain thing and it's like watered down that's the, it's like that like I feel like I'm just drinking sparkling water <sighs> anyways thank you for joining me for this dinner for one I hope you guys are having a great day and an even greater week and until next time, I want to wish you guys nothing but good vibes, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.